channel. Per your request, I know you guys have asked if my knees are all the way down when I'm up in my splits. Yes, sometimes, sometimes not. I, let me give you a little backstory. When I was younger in gymnastics, we'd have to like overstretch absolutely every part of our body. And it's not like it was here, it's a little more harsher there. Where, where I come from. And so a lot of times I had my knees overstretched and it was something that stuck with me and it was a bad memory. I didn't want to overstretch my knees to a point that they were stretched before. And so throughout the years, I have absolutely loved stretching. It is something that I enjoy doing, but I slack off and I do not overextend my knees. So by all means, my knees can be super much more flexible than they are right now. They are not. But here are, we're going to go over some exercises that are going to help you get your back leg straight and not have that banana curve in your legs, you know, like it's not all the way straight and it's bent a little bit at a time. And y'all seen that for me. So I can't even tell you how many times y'all seen that for me. However, I'll give you about six exercises that you can do at home and help yourself like, like flatten out your legs and the back of your legs. So let's get started with just standing up first, since we're already up here, and get into a little forward band. So just like with any hamstring stretches, that is going to help you extend throughout the back of your hamstring and also your knees. So you're gonna start feeling exactly where your knees are and when they're not stretched. So sit here for a minute, put your hands down on the ground, support yourself. If you are feeling the stretch already, then you can place your hands on your knee knees or on your shins and wrap yourself from side to side. Feel yourself loosening up a little bit here. Perfect. Once you feel comfortable with this, then go ahead and put your hands down on the ground and stay here a couple of moments. Feel the stretch in the back of your hamstrings. Feel your knees. A lot of times if you're into yoga and you haven't done it in a little while, you would be really sore in the back of your hamstrings and the back of your legs is because you are actually working those hamstrings and your knees are getting hyperextended. So sit here for a couple more seconds now. Rock back and forth. So when you come forward, lift your legs up a little bit. Then when you go back, drop your heels to the ground and rock back. Now, I want you to concentrate on right above your knees. Feel that area stretch here. Now again, Go forward on your tippy toes and rock back. Your heels are on the ground. Once the heels are on the ground, push your booty back behind you and feel a deeper stretch. Let's do that a couple more times. Deepen and stretch every single time when you go back and when you go forward. So you can walk your hands forward a little bit and walk them back a little bit or you can just keep them steady, whatever feels good for you. If you're not walking your hands, imagine that you're going up to a handstand, get into that position, get really strong in your shoulders, and then rock all the way back. Perfect, let's do one more here. All right, from here, if you have a wall somewhere behind you, another really good thing to do is walk your feet all the way back to the wall and feel the back of your knees. Now. At first, you're not gonna be able to feel the back of your knees all the way against the wall. And so that's why you're doing what we're gonna do in order to feel it. So put your hand behind you and see if you have a lot of a gap. If you do, then that's why you're here. <laughs> that's why we're gonna work this knees and get them flat. If that feels comfortable for you, go ahead and press down on your knee with your hand a little bit. Feel a little bit of the action going on the back behind your leg or push yourself back. So push your hands down on your mat and push yourself back. Feel your legs overextend. Stay here a couple of breaths. Take in a deep, nice breath. Relax here. It is not supposed to be painful, so do not overdo it. You won't be able to walk tomorrow. And instead of that, you may want to stretch again. So don't overdo it here. Once we're done here, let's go ahead and sit down. Extend your legs in front of you in a pipe. Now from here, walk yourself down. If you're doing what we're trying to do here, you probably already have a nice, pretty solid plank. No, I'm sorry, plank. See, I'm not even. 
I don't even know what I'm talking about. A pipe. So again, put your hand underneath your knees and see how much of a gap you have. If you have a lot of a gap, then try to get lower in your plank. Hold your feet here, or you can interlace your fingers underneath your feet, or hold your wrist. So deepen it as you need to. Feel the back of your hamstrings extending. Now, once you're pretty comfortable here, what I want you to do is grab one leg. So with your right hand, you're gonna grab your right foot. With your left hand, you're gonna press down on your left knee, and you're just going to push up. So you're pulling on your right leg and pushing down on your left leg. With your left hand, you're pulling, pu pushing down on your knee. So you're extending up and pressing down. And at this point, you may start feeling the back of your leg working. If this does not feel comfortable for you guys, get a towel, like a small towel, roll it up and tuck it underneath your knee. So that way you get an idea of how low your knee is and how it should feel. So if your gap is pretty decent, you may be able to fit a towel in there. So once you have the towel, then press up again. And at this point, you should have the back of your knee down in the towel. This is how a straight leg should feel. So from here, go ahead and let it go. Go to the other side, press down with your right hand on your left knee and pull up with your left hand on your left foot. Hold it here for a few minutes. I'm not doing that right now for the purpose of this video. But hold it here for a few minutes, then relax. Then point and flex. So give yourself a little break. Point and flex, point and flex. Now let's do individual legs so that way there is a more of a concentrated movement. So if you have a towel, perfect. Keep it there and point your foot, then flex it. On your flexion, Feel how your knee lowers down towards your mat or towards your towel on your point. Feel it tighten up and contracting up. So point and, and flex and keep on alternating that. Then repeat, repeat the same thing on your left side. And then once you have left and right done, I want you to point and flex both of your feet. Feel all the way extended and all the way contracted and feel the difference in the back of your hamstrings the whole entire time. Okay, once we're done with those, let's get into a little low lunge. So remember when we worked on splits the other day and I was doing this? It extends the back of your hamstrings and it also lengthens that, the back of your leg. So you can go ahead and press down on your knee here to balance out one hand or go ahead and press down with both of your hands all the way down and keep them pressing to whatever feels more comfortable for you. From here, you can go ahead and flex, extend the back. Now feel the flexion in the back of your hamstrings and feel your knee extending here. Feel it how it like it just pretty much is like tuck in. Now press down on it, not too hard. You don't want to hurt yourself here. You're pressing softly and gently until you feel a little pull. We're not trying to hurt you here, all right? So from here, go ahead and point again. Immediately feel the difference in between the point and the flex. Lean back out a little bit. So your booty's coming back a little bit and it's coming forward a little bit. So again, with your flexion, you're coming back. With your point, you're going forward. Press down on your knee and stay here a couple of seconds. All right, once you do that, go ahead and switch your legs. One leg is naturally going to be more flexible than the other. So that's great. Stay where you're at, press down on your knee. And this at first is not going to feel too good, guys. So don't expect this to be some kind of like an easy stretch and you're watching TV and doing it and time is passing by while you don't even know it. This is not comfortable. If you, for you to be here and watching this far, then you know that is an area that you have not worked that much. So from here, Last thing, let's go ahead and lay all the way down. Pour yourself down. Lift one leg up, whichever leg you start with up fine, and pull towards you. So your leg, if you're up here and you're pulling, then that's fine. Make sure your leg is straight. Hold the opposite, or the same leg with the opposite arm to lift down and towards your chest. 
and get your left hand with your left um, ankle and press down on your knee. So while you're pressing down, you're pulling your leg toward you as well. So there is this kind of pull and push contraction going on and your leg is getting extended, your knee is getting extended. So you want to do that. You want to have that hyperextension, but do it nicely and gently and take your time. It takes years. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. You can get in a little half happy baby. Just stretch your leg out a little bit, we'll work it. So let's go to the other side. Hold your right leg with your left hand and right hand goes on your right knee. Press down and pull down towards you. So press and pull. It's not about the movement here so much as to whether you're hurting your knee or not. You may be able to go a whole lot lower if you are not pressing down on your knee. I know. <laughs> so stay here where it feels comfortable on your knee. Also, if you want a little bit of an extra stretch, flex your toes and hold them, pull them toward you. Now you're engaging the, the rest of your calves also. So you're feeling the stretch everywhere. Hold for two more seconds here and bring your leg, your knee all the way down. A little half happy baby. And now, since we worked so hard, you can get in your split, your front splits. See how that feels. Are you loosening up? Are you feeling better? How does that feel? Turn around, look at the back of your foot, click it in, roll your hips forward. Are you down? Are you getting lower? Because that's what I like to feel at the end of the stretch. Now go ahead and go into your middle split. Are, you lay, are your knees all the way down? What do they need to do? How much more knee work do you need to do? Take pictures. Do a little progression for yourself and see what you need to do. Your knees are facing up. Are your, knee, um, are your knees facing up and are your legs all the way down? This is what we are looking for. So whatever it is that you're doing today or wherever you are, you are doing amazing. And the more you work your exercises, the more you work your stretches, you're going to achieve the goals that you want. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that now. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and comment below. Let me know if you want me to follow up with any other videos. Don't forget to turn on the notification button and drop a like. See you guys next time.